Well, good morning, everybody. I am in Seoul, South Korea today, March the 15th of 2023. It's about five o'clock in the morning, and I'm walking up to the City Hall Plaza, the Seoul Plaza. Now, why am I up this early? I'm taking a tour to the DMZ today. Okay, I know you're thinking, why would a tour be leaving at five o'clock in the morning to the DMZ? Actually, it's leaving in about 30 minutes from now. It's because they just opened tours back up to the JSA, the Joint Security Area, which has been closed for a while due to COVID. That's the area everybody wants to go to with the blue buildings, and you can see the armistice room and all that. So anyway, I'm really lucky that I got one of the first tours back to the JSA, and it's leaving in about a half an hour. So I'm gonna go up and show you the JSA. Uh, we're also gonna do a bunch of other DMZ type stuff. I'm gonna just touch on that briefly. Uh, but mainly the JSA. So here we go. This is it. March 15th, 2023. I'm taking it. Uh, it's called VIP Tours to the JSA. Gijongdong village or propaganda village. It's called propaganda village because immediately following the Korean War uh, it was built uh, to entice South Koreans to defect because after the Japanese occupation North Korea was used as an industrialized society and South Korea was used for agrar as an agrarian society and for farming. So after the split North Korea was much more industrial and prosperous South Korea was much more agrarian and poor. So a large city or town right on the border that looked very modern was very appealing <laughs> huh? so the small uh, as far as the small buildings in the center are concerned the silver ones are north korean buildings and the blue ones are united nations buildings but you notice that the united nations buildings as we as we get closer are labeled t1 t2 and t3 the T stands for temporary, because after the Korean War, they were constructed and intended to be temporary uh, buildings 
to uh, house peace negotiations when a final peace settlement was finally arrived at. However, that never happened, and we still operate under the armistice agreement. To your right is Freedom House. It was built so that families torn asunder by the, by the Korean War could reunite and spend time together. However, it was never used for that purpose because the North Koreans do not trust South, the South Koreans to, uh, I mean, the North Koreans do not trust their people to come across, please come this way, please, to come across and spend time in the South. The large building, Been refurbished the concerning the armistice agreement and inter-Korean summits have, have been held. This is where people like heads of state and high-ranking generals hold their meetings. And T3 is where lower lower level talks like staff officers hold their meetings. Hey, yeah. okay, we got one. Thank you. 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 You never know where destiny will take you.